Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. Welcome to Mawuz and Minutes. This is Muhammad Ali, and now we are to talk about obedience. Obedience has two definitions. One of them is linguistics and the other is technical. Linguistically, obedience means agreement and submission to comply with what someone in authority orders. Technically, obedience is abiding by the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator, the commander, so all people should do what he orders. But the real question is how we are supposed to be obedient toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his prophets and specifically through Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny. It is through following and acting upon what the Prophet, peace be upon him and his progeny, has advised us that we reach our goal. In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, The Prophet has a higher claim on the believers than they have on their own selves. When an individual believes in the divine message of Allah, they have automatically believed in the prophethood of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny. They cannot simply obey Allah without obeying the Prophet. In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the specific point quite clear. Regarding this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, It is not fit for a believer, man or woman, when Allah and his messenger have decreed a matter that they should have any option in their decision. And whoever disobeys Allah and the Messenger has indeed strayed in a plain manner. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, And we have sent you, Muhammad, as a messenger to mankind, and Allah is sufficient as a witness. He who obeys the Messenger has indeed obeyed Allah. But he who turns away, then we have not sent you as a watcher over them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us a clear warning about disobeying what Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and his progeny has commanded us. There is no better example for us than the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and his progeny and we have to take what he has given us and we have to abstain from what he peace be upon him and his progeny has forbidden us. Nor does he speak of his own desire. It is no less than revelation sent down to him. We can see that we are obliged to obey what Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and his progeny has commanded us. As the verse indicates, he peace be upon him and his progeny did not speak of his own desires but he spoke what was revealed to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is not as if Muhammad peace be upon him and his progeny came up with his own laws and regulations but anything that Muhammad peace be upon him and his progeny has commanded for us to do regarding Islam came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet peace be upon him and his progeny does not talk or command out of thin air. Rather, he is commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to distribute his divine message and through obeying the Prophet peace be upon him and his progeny, we in return obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With this said, respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, we reach the end of our show for now. Thank you very much indeed for watching and don't forget the dua to hasten the reappearance of the master of our time. His Majesty Imam Al Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.